Omega Zero, and we're back here with more Final Fantasy 7. Now, if you're wondering why the volume is low, it's because they're still playing Sid Steam. And YouTube sucks when it comes to copyright because they copyright the ever loving crap on my video when I was trying to get Sid Steam to keep playing. But, anyways, now it's time we head to Midgard because even after getting everyone's, most of everyone's level 7 limits, we're going to leave that to 3. Just appears again after you've defeated Iron Wolf. Oh, actually, you know what? Hold up. We're actually going to go find Ultima Weapon. Because this thing is supposed to appear after you defeat Diamond Weapon and before we actually go on our mission to uh, parachute here into Midgar. Problem is, this thing is freaking random on where it will appear. This thing will fly all over the world and you do have to defeat it constantly. I get to fight it, I believe, three times. Because it will just, again, show up randomly. I'm trying to see if I can find it around the world right now. Because, again, like I keep saying, it will just show up. Let's see, let's see. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Where are you? Diamond what? What the? Oh, weird, I thought I saw something. Where are you, diamond? Not diamond weapon, ultimate weapon. Where are you, dang it? Actually, is Ruby, has Ruby weapon showed up yet? Nope, Ruby weapon has not showed up. Because we have to wait till the Oh, there he is! There you are, you prick! Uh, why is it? What the? Hold up. Let's go! Let's go! It's time for a boss battle! And it's against Ultima Weapon! He takes with ultimate beam! Oh, holy crap! That hurt! A lot! Like, that really did hurt! Uh, crap. Enemy skill. White wind. Since it's a flying enemy, though, ultimate weapon here is, we're actively not going to attack it right now. We can't attack it with long range. The only person who can, I believe, is Cloud and Yuffie, but that's because their weapons are long range based. So, yeah. What the? Hey, where are you going? Don't you run from me! This ain't no bell. What the? Get back here! Alright, so now it's just off fly whatever in the world. So now, I believe it should be appearing, not around calm, but it should be appearing here near, it should just be a flying around the world. I want to fight this thing because, good lord, the, you know what, screw it. Yeah, we're going to Megar. I did my, we reached Megar. If we get there, Megar's under martial law. There'll be no way we can slip into the slums. Let's get all the transportation from the slums is cut off. Hey, hey, what do you think we have the highway for? Where are we now? Huh? Where are we? If Vlad's no go, we go by air. Oh yeah. Okay, then we parachute into Midgar. Ha <laughs> ha. Let's go! <laughs> is Yuffie gonna run up behind us? Because Vince even is. Yep, there she is. There we go. Let's go! <laughs> Choose. Yes. Yeah, here's it. You can change your party members up for here. So, Andrew's the time. I'm actually gonna bring Vincent along. And here's the thing before we do one boss fight. I will actively switch out Tifa for Barret because for some fucking reason, Barret's ultimate weapon can only be found if you have Tifa, if you have Barret in here. Ah, oh, gosh. But yeah, here we go. Leave it as is. Yeah, let's go. Now here's a little, uh, here's a little fun, interesting fact for everyone. You know that most of your team was actually supposed to die here? 
Yeah. Um, final thing. Most of the, I believe, like, the original two, right, one of the original three writers for this game, besides Yusunori Kitase, had Nomura on the scene as well as one of the writers. Nomura is one of the people who suggested that they do not kill off the rest of the characters here, because whoever was in your party would be with you until the end of the game, whereas everyone else would have died here. And the reason Nomura changed it because they would say it would undermine the impact of Aerith's death. So, we have to thank Nomura, the guy who's known for his crazy convoluted timelines and storytelling for the reason why we still have all these characters today and not being killed. I will put a link to where I found this in the description below. But yeah, they were going to do that. They were going to kill off all your characters. Like, right here. Like, it'd be ridiculous. Anyways, you have your teammates here. Yuffie, it's space spells close. Let's get this over with. Yeah, let's get this over with. Yeah, red. I have an old square to sell with Tokyo, so let's go. May sound strange coming for me, but it feels good to be back in Mega. Kind of makes me sick. So, we can save right here because we already battled Ultimate Weapon, but we're actually just gonna talk to Kechi. This is where we go in. Please, hurry to Mako Ken. Oh yeah, it's time for the best music in the game! It's time for the bombing mission! Let's go! Now, I'm going to actively explore here because as you can see, there is some items that we can grab. Oh god, I love this music. It's so good. I wouldn't be surprised though if this dropped. But yeah, here we go. Just explore over here. And you can and will be attacked randomly by enemies here. Case in point, we got some new enemy here. We got Galleon Beast. I believe I still haven't upgraded Vincent's uh, limits yet. Let's see, what does he turn? Yep, I have not upgraded his. Which is something we'll do off screen. Berserk Dance. So these enemies aren't too hard. Oh god, I have a headache in my eye. I know that sounds weird, but it's like a pulsing part of my eye that really hurts. Like right above my left eye. It really is annoying. Bam, bam, bam. Like, Tifa doing damage. Galleon Beast. Yeah, I need to upgrade Vinci. Uh, Yuffie. Not Yuffie. Seed. And, yeah. Yeah, let's go. Anyways, go over here. Grab this. Got an elixir. We need as many elixirs, sources, and other items available to us so we can use a glitch. What the hell is this? <laughs> Whatever, it's dead now. <laughs> if I put the clip on Dante, say, What the hell is this? Okay. And we're going to just turn this on and run. Because we do find unique enemies here. If we didn't get a we gotta get attacked. And we get tanks. Normal shell. And like, they're really not all that dangerous to us. Yeah, it's like... Okay, I'm just kind of like looking up where we can also find the ultimate weapons for each of the characters are at. For Kachi, Vincent, Barry, Sid, Tifa, all of them. Uh, some of them you actually get on the return trip here. Clouds is tied to the ultimate weapon. But you can also get another weapon that's amazing for materia growth, which we'll be using in the final crater. Because good lord, that's going to take a while. But anyways, you climb down here. Oh crap. Actually, yeah. No. God dang it. Climb down here. And then you're gonna go all the way to the left instead of the right. If we weren't attacked constantly by enemies! But, oh yeah. All we really have to worry about is just attacking the enemies hard, except Vince is confused. Vince, how could you? We already got Yuffie's ultimate weapon. Okay, yeah, we can also get S Vincent's ultimate weapon right now. But that'll be after we, you know, leave Midgar and all that. Anyways, climb this ladder. <laughs> I love the bombing music. 
Except they had to constantly talk over it. Aegis Armlet. Let's see. That's equip. What does the Aegis Armlet do? It's just... It doesn't have as good a defense as the Crystal Man. But it has much better magic defense. But I think the magic defense stat in this game is still bugged. From when the game first freaking released. I'll, I'll turn off the... I don't want to turn off enemy encounters because we still kind of need those because, well, Vince is kind of lower level than, like, the rest of the crew. Dang it! I'm going to, like, just attack everything. Even though Cloud's still in the back row, I should probably put him in the front row, to be honest. Yeah, you know what? Screw it. We're going to put Cloud in the front row. Order. So he can actually do his max damage, quote-unquote. Uh, let's see. Where can we go? Hey, there we go. Du, 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 du. Climb on here. And do on a triple speed because if I didn't, this would take forever. Climb on this one. Let's go! Yeah, I know I'm trying to deliberately. Dang it! Oh crap, it's a behemoth! I hate this thing! It almost killed me! Oh, But here's the thing, Tifa hits very hard, Vincent hits very hard. You know, I was expecting more from the Behemoth, if I'm being entirely honest. Maybe it's because they're always such a major threat in every single game I fight them in because they damn near kill me in one hit! <sighs> but here, they're not that big of a threat if I'm being entirely honest. I'm going to turn off enemy encounters because I think we encounter everything. Anyways, come down here, you can grab this, which gives us another elixir, and this, which gives us the Starlight Phone, which I know for a fact it has to be a weapon for, like, Kachi, right? It has to be, right? Uh, okay, yeah, we can get a bunch of characters' ultimate weapons right now. I, I'm just an idiot. Can I go down here? I can! I don't know why. Can I go in here? <laughs> yeah, all these items. Max Ray. I have no idea what that is. I really don't. I can't go that way, so I really I believe we have obtained all our weapons at the current moment. Uh, I believe, yeah, we have. Let's see. Well, let's climb up then. Climb up, Cloud! Cloud, climb, climb the ladder. Thank you, Cloud. <laughs> Alright, let's climb up the stairs. Ah, oh, freak, my leg. I know we missed that one item over there. I really don't care. Let's climb. Let's go. Anyways, what you want to do is that you actually want to head all the way back here. If you're wondering why the hell you want to head back here, well, A, you get to meet your teammates. Leave this to me. Hurry to the cannon. Ignore them and keep heading back. Yeah, I know I turned off enemy counters, but that's because this would literally take forever if I didn't turn them off. Turn them off. Because, good lord, you need to run all the way back here. In order to get a certain item that will allow us to become, uh, that allow us to reach our full potential. Anyways, grab this power source. We're gonna need those. We're gonna need all the sources. Hey, the water's flowing right there, so must be bad. Grab this guard source. You're gonna need that. Hey, it's red. I smell it. The cannon's not this way. How do you smell a cannon? But all right. Again, you're gonna keep running back, and you got two more items. A mind source and a magic source. Again, you're gonna need all these sources because that's how we're gonna use it to grab like all this crap. Uh, there, we picked up one of the most important materials in the entire game. Um, I'll arrange them right now. Arrange, and we're going to just ah, we're going to click on this death glove, and we're going to go down to the command material. This is the W item materia. We use this to get max stats by farming sources with Yuffie's conformer weapon. I'll show it off later 
because I'm not sure if the glitch still exists because I remembered something getting updated on my Switch version of Final Fantasy VII. So maybe, just maybe, they might have patched it out. And if they did, fuck you Square Soft and Square Enix for doing that. Dead end! So yeah, you come back here. And then you would fight them. Er, there was supposed to be another encounter here, I believe. I don't know why they didn't show up. There was supposed to be another encounter with the Turks near the end of the game. In this Midgar section. But yeah, as you can see, I turn I keep I'm keeping triple speed and going in here to again to say save time ultimately. Because remember, this would take forever. This would take minutes. Minutes I say to get through here, and I would hate it. Come on. Alright, so we're at number seven. Oh no, they're here! Yes, this is what I was talking about. It's the Turks! Where are we going to do? I think we can ignore our orders now. Hey! Alien don't act so weak. <laughs> we're Turks, Elena. Yes, sir, you're right. Come on, we got work to do. I'm not really up for it, but our orders were to seek you out and kill. Our company may be in turmoil, but an order is an order. That's the spirit of the Turks. Believe it! Nah. So here's your. What are you doing? Let's go. So you can get the option to fight the Turks. I'm not going to because really there's no point in fighting them and I don't have the steel material on. So let's not fight them. Nah. So, what is that, Pay? Don't think the Turks are fools. Wait, Elena. You know, you're not disobeying, are you? Shinra's freeing us. Let's come down to this. Yeah, you are a great Turk. You know, we never saw her fight. It's only because... Farewell. If we both survive, and the lives are spared... This will either be a fight, or it will be a mandatory fight, or it could be when you skip again. Remember the spirit of the Turks! Our mission's over. So yeah, you can get this confrontation if you want to fight them. I suggest not, because even though they're super powerful at this point... The, the game's punished me for not fighting the Turks! Anyways, you got these laser enemies. They're not difficult. We need to do some damage, but and that's because that. What the? What does that do? It missed again. Oh god, Tifa. KO the enemies, why don't you? Hey, look, the all material. We have two turbo ethers. Hey, let's just triple speed it up and get out of here. Come on. Maybe I will show it off in another playthrough. I, I don't know. Maybe if I feel like it. Talk to Yuffie. Come on, come on, come on! Come on, come on, come on! Gosh dang it, game! Anyways, these enemies, again, are not super powerful. I'm assuming that will just give us a status effect. Because it's not working on Vincent no matter what it the game does. Like, that's why I was like, is it a status effect condition? That's why is it not working? And most likely is the reason. I know triple speed is kind of annoying, but hey, we leveled up again. Uh, let's go to the left. I'm not sure if there's an item here or... Oh, is that... That... Dang, that was like real close. Because uh, that's exactly where we're supposed to go. Uh, let's go to the right. Let's see if we can go... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Sid. Which way? God damn! Some fucking cannon! So you do actually, there's a reason why I'm kind of going this roundabout way of trying to get to the top of getting these weapons and items. If this game would go any freaking slower and take out my turns with more of these freaking enemies just, you know, constantly attacking us. Thank you, game. You know what, we'll turn off enemy encounters here because, uh, well... You can climb this, climb in here. Hey, we're back in the Shinra building. Let's go. Ch -ch 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 -ch. 
No, not from the sensor rays, not this way. However, you do want to go back here. If you're like, hey, Omega, why the hell would you want to go back to the uh, Shinra building? Well, there is a reason and a method to my madness. What you want to do is that you want to climb all... You want to take the elevator and go all the way up to... Basically, the, one of the highest floors in Shinra. Actually, hold up. We're at, oh, look. Uh, and it... Okay, it doesn't take that long, thank goodness. You just go up to floor 50, or you can take the stairs. I recommend not taking the stairs. Because taking the stairs would take forever. What you want to do is, like, leap up to floor, what, 60 or 61? One of those floors. Nope, not this floor. I think it's, like, six... It's one of the floors there that had the gym on it. We go to, what, floor... I can't remember what floor the gym was on. No. Free day, man. What floor was the gym on? Is it, like, 61? No, it's here, 64. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to go out here, and you want to go in here. I have to get inside. Locked. Locked, 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 locked. If you remember earlier in the game, there was some... Friggin' A, did I grab it? Um, equip. Uh, Kachi's weapon was supposed to be up here. It's the HP shout, it can be on the second vision of Mizar at the end of this hoop. Just like the Mystic Core, it cannot be attained if you're missing them on your second visit to this area. There's no way to end about restarting the game. So, I believe we just got it, so I'm going to just go all the way to the end. HP shop. Yeah. That is um, Kenshi's ultimate weapon. Now, here's a really, really stupid thing you gotta do. If you want to get uh, another... What the? Is there another item here? Glow Lance. Huh. I have no idea what the glow lance... Uh, it's a sin weapon, sure, but I'm not sure what it does. This is... This is ri Ah, crap. Here. I'll be back, ladies and gentlemen. Stop. Okay, in order to get one of the last weapons here, you need to go from the top down in order to get this unique weapon for Red 13. Which is really dumb now that I think about it. Because, yes, you actively need to, like, run down all these stairs, and you don't even get any badger this time. Just need to run down, like, at the, like, what, three sections of stairs, and then you'll get it. Uh, unless I'm wrong. I could be. Because you're supposed to get Red 13's ultimate weapon when you come back to another section here in... Oh, good lord, where the hell is this weapon? There it is, there it is. Behemoth Horn. It's a unique weapon for red. But it's not too strong, I should say. So, I'm gonna hurry up and save because apparently my mom's making me forced to do movie night and all that crap. So... I will hurry up and save, and that'll be the uh, end of the episode. We'll hurry up out of here, and then we will save. Because I know we're supposed to go to another visit here, we, where we can get... Uh, uh, another character's ultimate weapon, uh, Tifa's. Which I believe is based on how strong her limit gauge is filled up. Is it the best weapon? No, because like I said, the curse ring setup actually does a whole lot more in terms of damage. Okay, so now we'll take the elevator and get the hell. There we go. Get the heck out of here. Come on, go, go faster. And another little interesting thing if you go up back to the second floor, and go back to that shop that we saw earlier. You can go in it once again. But that chick is in here, so you can actually open these items. You get the master fist and a pile bunker. <laughs> so those will be like the interesting weapons you can get. But with that everyone, that'll be the end of the episode because good lord, I've done a lot of talking, I've done a lot of recording. So with that everyone. My name is Omega Zero, and by saving at the Shinra building and having most of these weapons, we have attained most of the 
ultimate weapons in this game. So, with that, I will catch you all later.